Hi, all the signs of the zodiac. I'm Pam, and welcome to your psychic crystal reading for the new moon in Aries, April 11th, 2021. As always, I'm going to look into my crystal and give you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for each of the four elements earth, water, fire, and air. The earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The water signs are Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. The fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And the air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So, but before we get started on the four elements psychic crystal reading, I did some research about this Aries new moon, and I'm going to give you some information about that. You may feel a renewal of your energy from this Aries new moon, April 11th, 2021. Since this new moon is happening in the cardinal sign of Aries, this makes it an excellent time to start new projects and plans and initiating new beginnings of all kinds. It's time to take charge and put your manifesting powers to good use. Thoughts and mental values will be brought into the picture due to a cluster of planets in Aries with Mercury and Venus joining the sun. So this means your goals will be well thought out, but you also will be connecting with things you hold dear in your heart. Be aware, you may feel more energetic, but also impulsive over the course of the next two weeks to 30 days. So now on to the psychic crystal part of your recording. So first I'm gonna start with the element of earth. This will be Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. I feel like the earth signs are going to have a lot to contend with. There's going to be a lot of buildup of things on your plate. Some of you earth signs are going to capitalize on some opportunity that becomes available to you. And some of you earth signs are going to really be inspired to set your sights and your goals higher. So you could want a higher uh, position at your work, you could want to attain another degree, uh, you could want something to you that would seem at a higher elevation. And for some of you are signs, you're going to see over the course of the next two weeks to 30 days, some things that were complicated start to smooth out and even out. Some of you earth signs are going to find that you're starting to receive a lot of compliments and accolades for a job well done. So you could have bosses or clients or customers or even people in your family stepping up to the plate and saying, hey, you know, I really think earth sign you've been, you know, doing a great job. Some of you earth signs may even be inspired to like change your direction completely. And this could be with a place you're living. This could be with, you know, a career choice. Or if you're in school and studying, you may switch your major from one thing to another. And you may find some of you are signs that you start to get invited to things. So maybe some more things will be opening up in the world uh, where you live, where you'll have more freedom to go to gatherings, parties, or events. I'm sorry if you hear those weird noises in the background. My dog is sitting at the base of the table where the computer is snoring his head off. So sorry you have to listen to the snores. Double check your information because I feel one of the cautions for the earth signs are if you're like searching uh, for facts or different information, you need to look in more than one place because I feel like you could be searching out something and you think you found the correct information and it turns out that there's something not quite right with it. And you, so do your searching for information in more than one place or with more than one person. Be careful of causing upset because I feel there's a chance over the next two weeks to 30 days that some of you earth signs could say something that inadvertently uh, upsets someone. 
you may intend to do it, but I feel some of you are not trying to do it. So be, you know, before you speak, look at who's around when you feel like really inspired to say something. Look at who's around and think of what you're just about ready to say, because you might be able to save yourself of putting your foot in, the, in your mouth is, is possible. Some of you earth signs need to be cautious because you may feel like you are gripe central where all these people that, you know, either employees or family members or friends or combinations of people or significant others all have like gripes about things. They, they may not necessarily be with you. This could be just a gripe fest that they're upset about this or they don't like that. So you may have a lot of that going on. So I hope those messages were of help to the earth signs. Now on to the element of water. This is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Some of you water signs may really feel like you would like to cash in some and cash in on something, cash in on some money. So if you have any bonds or anything in savings or uh, any stocks or I don't know what it is, but I get cashing in uh, on some money. It could mean it in a different way, but I feel like if you have anything worth some value, uh, you may want to cash it in to then get the cash. Some of you water signs may be worried about what someone else is thinking about you or saying about you over the course of the next two weeks to 30 days from the energies of this Aries new moon. Some of you water signs are going to really be trying to give something up. So this could be relinquishing fears. It could be certain foods that you want to give up. Um, it could be a number of different things. I mean, it could be an addiction. It could be a relationship. It could be foods you don't want to eat. Uh, it could be, I don't know, but I get like relinquishing something for the water signs over the course of the next two weeks to 30 days. Some of you water signs are going to feel like you are going to be challenging people left and right. And I'm not really sure why. Well, it's like you don't agree with them or you think their ideas are far-fetched or off their rocker, like that kind of energy. Like you just don't, don't agree with their thinking, their ideologies, what they're doing. Some of you water signs are going to like gather together or scrape together money to purchase something big over the course of the next two weeks to 30 days. Some of you water signs are going to seek out advice from someone over the course of the next two weeks to 30 days, and it's going to be stellar information. It's going to be like really valuable and helpful to you. Some of you water signs are going to catch somebody in the act of doing something. And it's going to benefit you that you caught them. They could be stealing something, cheating, lying. Uh, it, maybe they're, you're going to catch them in the act of doing something positive. It doesn't matter what you catch them in the act of, but it's going to benefit you that you, you may not feel, you may feel good about what you find out. At the onset, you might not, but in the long run, it is actually a blessing for you. Some of you water signs need to be careful because somebody may really disturb your calm and peace when they start spinning their stories at you. So you could have somebody that might be spin doctoring things in their life or on their soapbox of like, speaking out about what they want to say and what they believe, and this could disrupt your calm and peace. Some of you may start to notice that you're having some kind of commitment issues that are cropping up. This could be in a relationship, but it could be committing to something, to a job, to a project, to a plan. But commitment issues for some of you fire signs are going to show up for you over the course of the next two weeks to 30 days. That's one of your cautions. 
some of you water signs need to be careful because I do see that you're going to outsmart a lot of people around you. But if you vocalize that you've outsmarted them, you're going to piss a lot of people off. <laughs> so it's positive in one way that you've outsmarted a lot of people over the next 30 days. But if you brag about it, it's going to cause you some problems and people are going to be like, yeah, at you. <laughs> so I hope these messages were of help to you. Now on to the element of fire. This will be Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. Some of you fire signs are really going to feel like you want to take your power back from something. Like taking your power back wherever you feel like you've, you know, it's gotten taken away from you or you've let it go. Some of you fire signs are going to be starting a big project. And there's a lot of facets to this project. Some of you, it could be like rebuilding something. It could be rebuilding a home, restructuring a roof, uh, renovating your house inside. It could be even taking care of things within your physical body. But like anything that would, re would be considered rebuilding or constructing something or some big project. Some of you fire signs may be entertaining the idea of quitting or leaving a job. I don't know that you're going to do it now. It feels more to me like you may wait and you may not actually do it until 2022 at some point. But some of you may do it in 2021, but I get you thinking about it over the course of the next two weeks to 30 days. You have to be careful you don't run yourself ragged because I feel like some of you fire signs are going to be working an awful lot or working yourself to the bone and kind of mixed with stress, like overwork and overstress comes up here for some of you fire signs over the next two weeks to 30 days. You could win something now. That could be one of your blessings and somebody could spill some beans that really gives you some insight it may even give you like an edge to win something also because i get somebody spilling the beans and you winning so either somebody tells you something that that in, inside information or that slip up helps you win something or it's two separate messages here you either win something and someone spills the beans to you but either way it's a blessing some of you fire signs are going to feel like you're kind of like returning yourself back to your center. You're going to feel more uh, grounded, more whole, more at peace, more centered. If you have to learn anything, study anything, learn anything, you're going to find that this Aries new moon is going to help you catch on really, really quickly. Um, so you, anything you have to study or learn the course of the next 30 days is a really good time for you to learn things for you fire signs. Remember to show a lot of gratitude, not to look a gift horse in the mouth and to show a lot of gratitude over the next two weeks to 30 days. You also have to be cautious, like you could be spitting in the wind if you're trying to get somebody to do something you want them to do. So if you're like really driven, like you want your spouse to do something or you want a group of people to do something or you want your kids to do something and you're really, really, really putting your will on them, like really, you know, pushing them to do it. I, I feel like it's kind of like a wasted energy because I get a lot of stubborn energy around you and you're very fixed and driven on your ideas over the next 30 days and that may not pan out. So you have to use caution there. 
Some of you could have issues or trouble with your stomach, uh, digestive system, stomach. Uh, so you have to be careful what you eat. Make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids. Try to avoid sugar because I feel sugar is going to be something not good for you while this new... Well, I don't feel it's ever really good for you, honestly. <laughs> it's hard not to eat it, but it's not good for you. But I feel like something about this Aries new moon is exacerbating it. So try to avoid sugar because I feel like leaky gut comes up here. If you don't know what that is, you have to look it up. Uh, or some kind of uh, digestive problems or something with your stomach. So those are, you know, these messages give you blessings and cautions. So that was a caution there for the fire signs. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now onto the element of air. This is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Some of you air signs are going to feel quite inspired to make like a uh, take chances and make some big leaps and jumps over the course of the next 30 days. Some of you air signs are going to be getting out of your own way. You have to think about that. How do you get in your own way, air signs? You got to think it over. But over the next two weeks, up to 30 days, you will be getting out of your own way, which could be your mind, uh, you overanalyze things maybe too much or... Uh, you question or second guess situations too much and then you don't do decisions or don't make decisions or do things that you should. Don't need anything um, that you suspect is too old. Uh, like anything that could be spoiled or rancid and it might be hard to tell. I, I know that sounds like a weird thing to say. <laughs> But it, it comes up here. So be careful of what you're eating. Some of you are going to feel like you're regaining your power. I think the another uh, element got that. But regaining your vitality, regaining your energy, regaining your maybe more like your physical power. Some of you may be jumping into things too quickly over the next 30 days. You could also be, some of you air signs are going to be reviving something that you, maybe it was a hobby you did before. Maybe it was a job you had before. Maybe it's a business you, you owned before, but uh, it could even be a relationship. I get reviving something, something from the past gets revived by you. Some of you stumble into something where you get some kind of lucky break. Could be a lucky job opportunity or offer of some sort or meet somebody that's a great networking uh, person for you. Some of you will be receiving something that's of value, like a gift. It could be coming in the mail, uh, but I get like a gift and there it's... Some of you, it's a gift of cash. Some of you, it's a check or money. Uh, but some of you, it could be some other kind of gift. But I feel like you're going to be happy to get it. Something that you were worried about, you find to be that it was needless worry. So maybe you were worried about a test result or worried that somebody was going to get hurt or that something bad was going to happen. Maybe you were afraid somebody was going to break up with you or that you weren't going to pass a test. Something you were worrying about is going to come up and show up for you as that it was actually needless worry. Be careful you don't have on rose-colored glasses air sign over the next 30 days because you may have the tendency to see people and situations the way you want to see them. And you may not be seeing them fully in full reality. And taking your time with things that you need to work on. Health, healing, or business work that you need to do uh, is going to pay off for you over the next 30 days. Some of you need to be careful, air signs, because you may find that you start to behave erratically. 
from the energies of this Aries new moon on April 11th, 2021. It may make you be unpredictable or have erratic behavior. So you, it may like throw you off out of balance a little bit. Unless you have a lot of other planets in fire, it could make you speak or behave or act a little erratically. So that's one of your cautions there for the air signs. So I hope this reading was of help to you, all the signs of the zodiac out there, and I hope it was of some help. I want to thank you so much for watching my videos, and please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record from my Vimeo On Demand pages, you can get those most recent links are always posted down below in the description box in the show more section below this video, or you can go to my website at www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu and there you will see all the video series I record and what divination tools I've used and how long the predictions go out for. And you just choose your sign, click on the sign you want, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now, the most recent video series down below is going to be the psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac for the month of April 2021. Those are where I continue on from the psychic tarot readings I record on the uh, at the beginning of the month. When I stop the video of, for each sign, I look into the crystal and give you additional messages and predictions. So if you want the April 2021 crystal readings for your sign, that link is below. Also, my What's Lucky and New for You in 2021, those videos are also, that link is also below. And please be sure if you purchase any of those videos from that series, I really would like to ask you to please watch the trailer and or read the description about those videos to understand what is happening there. I get uh, a lot of people have been happy about those videos. It's not that they're negative, but you please read those descriptions. Uh, now, I am working right now on a very requested video series. I get requests for this every year, my career and finance, psychic tarot and crystal readings. They, those go out in time for the next 12 to 18 months. So they will start in April of 2021 and go out until the end of October 2022. But some of the predictions for some of the signs here and there, they would give one here or there that would go out as far as 2023 occasionally. That video series is maybe not going to be uh, fully edited and uploaded to video at the t uh, Vimeo at the time you hear me say this but I will be posting that link underneath this video as soon as they are completed. The other video series that you might be interested in is my psychic, uh, I'm sorry, my Saturn in Aquarius psychic tarot and crystal readings. They go out in time for three years from December of 2020 until March of 2023. So those predictions are going to be in play for a very long time. Also, if you haven't checked out the Big Love Psychic Tarot readings for 2021 for both singles and couples, that link is also below. And if you didn't get the yearly reading to see what was going to go on for your year of 2021, the Psychic Tarot readings for the new year of 2021 for each sign of the Zodiac, that link is also below. If uh, you would like to help support the work I do here and the psychic readings I put on YouTube, you could donate to my channel. And that link is posted below. All the video series links I have down below, it is connected to PayPal. I want to give a big shout out of thanks to all of you who have been very kind and generous and donated to my channel. I do greatly appreciate it and it does help a lot. So thank you so much for your donations. If you would like to get even more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here, you can follow me on my social media pages at the Lucky Mermaid LLC and uh, the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgiou on Instagram. I use a variety of divination tools, tarot cards, oracle cards, my crystal, and I post psychic predictions and messages there. 
They're usually in writing. Once in a while, I post a video and they apply to whoever feels guided to read them. I don't do them by the zodiac sign. It is a message for all. So you might want to check that out. A lot of people find those messages resonate with them and you may find they resonate with you and I'd love to see you on my social media pages. So I hope you have absolutely amazing energy that comes to you from this miraculous and wonderful Aries new moon, April 11th, 2021. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.